Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Coot Kid. Thank you for being uh, part of this build. Um, just doing a little bit of reading, sitting in the back seat of the car. Just imagine what it'd be like. Just nah, I'm not going to be a passenger. But sitting in the back of the car, just admiring what these machines are. We got V8 horsepower. We got plenty of room. It's a sports car. Let's build this thing. Get on the road. Thank you for being a part of this build, guys. Like I said, um, so today's segment, we got some more floor pan stuff to do. Um, I got some cleanup. I got tons of cleanup for welds that we've done. So bear with me. I'll show you what we're going to do in this segment. And uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Be a part of this channel. I love hearing what you guys have to say. Eventually, I will be building a Instagram page and a Facebook page. Um, stay tuned for a new uh, email address as well. Um, that way, if you guys want to correspond with me, that way all channels are open. I'm more than welcome to give any feedback that I have. That way I can help you guys with your build. You can help me with mine. So let's get into it. I'll show you what we got going on back here. I'm sitting on that new patch that we put in in the last segment. Um, we got a few more patches that we got to do. I did have a light underneath and I'm seeing a few pinholes. We can address those pinholes, that's not a problem. But right in here where the seat belt mounts on both sides, we gotta make new plates for, to go in there. Mind you, the cross member that goes underneath, that fastens down, it's solid, it's great shape. But it's around that that I wanna fix that. We got a couple little holes that are in here. So we'll fix that up. So let me get you turned around here and we'll show you what we're dealing with. All right guys, so in the last segment we put in this pan. I'm happy with the result. And like I said, I had a light underneath and we were shining through. So I've, I've seen a few pinholes, so we addressed those little pinholes. Any pinhole is actually going to uh, seep moisture through. And I'm planning on doing an undercoat on this, a rock guard or something along them lines. That way it's a thick membrane. So it's going to fill some of those holes, but I really don't want the moisture whip, um, wicking through. So in here, I got this little spot sitting right here. And I want to be able to patch this spot, so what we'll do, we'll end up cutting along here, come down, and right on these bends, we'll just, we'll put a patch in here. I got a little bit of a patch that we got to put into here. Not sure, because this spot's a little punky too. So I may end up coming down, following this bend, and we'll come right up into here. But there's a few other spots that I got to address. So as you can see around the seat belt mounts, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit seedy. And we want to make sure that this is safe, secure, and very strong car when we're done. Mind you, like that's a 383 that's going to be uh, just putting some torque to the back end. So we want to make sure that that's nice and solid. We've got a little bit of a hole right here, but we can patch that. That's not a big worry. Same thing on the driver's side. A little bit of a hole on that side. But for the most part, I, I couldn't justify changing that entire back pan when we can throw some patches in there. A uh, buddy of mine in Michigan, my car shop, Mike Rule. Um, yeah, he's all about fabricating. I love it. So uh, check out his page. He's doing a great job in there. Uh, he's called his car Stitches. I don't know. I'm thinking I might go patch. I don't know. A few patches in here. But thanks, Mike, for uh, all your tutorials, all your uh, fabrication. It's been great. But here we go. So why don't I grab a marker and we'll... Uh, We'll just line out what we want on those uh, patches in here. We'll get these all made up. And yeah, this is a work in progress, so the car gets fairly dirty. We got a bunch of junk in here, tools. But hey, you know something? I'm enjoying building this. This is a labor of love, so thank you for being a part of it. So I got a little bit eager here, and I went ahead and patched up this one, patched up the corner in here. Did a little bit of welding in this one, but uh, same process as doing this one. Just did it in here, cut my piece out, made the template, put my bends in. Same thing with this, cut the piece out, made my template, welded it in. So far, I think it's come along quite well. I'm quite happy with the results in here. Next, we got to tackle that spot and the one on the driver's side. So I went ahead and ground the, the rust and dirt and grime and tar and paint and all that other crap off of there. So I get a better look at it. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to come up on this uh, 
bend just a little bit up into here and we'll just follow that all the way around come down here and over it's a seat belt mount it is welded all the way up into here but uh we want to make sure that anybody that's riding in the back they're secure uh, should should something catastrophic happen um we want to make sure the car is safe so i think i'm just going to go ahead and i'm just going to cut this out it's still going to give me a great template we can bend this where we need to so that it fits in here and we'll do the same process as what we did on this one only difference is we got a plug well down to this cross member that does the seat belt mounts but uh, it's not a big deal we'll just cut her out make a new one weld it in so there we go guys this is what it looked like before so i gotta work on this one yet and we got a new patch in on that side so there's a couple little spots that i gotta fill one up in here one back there but uh yeah for the most part i'm happy with this we're getting uh, patches put in here we'll get another patch put in here um just seat belt mounts i'm not too worried about it we just don't want it to rust through again we'll put some uh, new metal in there like i said the metal that i'm using like this here it's thicker than the original we're just blending it into the original pan and uh, we'll weld that in it'll be stronger than new so I'm quite pleased with this. We're getting a long ways along. Um, stay tuned, guys. We'll, uh, I'll get a little more detailed when I do this one. And uh, that way you can see the process that I did to cut the patch, get it to fit, uh, weld it in, stuff like that. So guys, I hope you're enjoying the build. Uh, I got some more patching to do in here. Um, a little more uh, uh, massaging of the metal, so to speak. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing your comments. If you want to see more detail as to what I'm doing when I'm putting in a patch, I can do that. If you want to see less, please let me know. Um, for the most part, it is a restoration, but I am going to be doing kind of a resto mod thing to it. Brand new wiring harness, new gauges, LED lights, uh, disc brake conversions. These will all come as uh, we do more work in the shop, get some more revenue coming in. Um, but for the most part, I'm just just tinkering, weekend warrior. So for those of you out there that are doing your build, don't get discouraged by bad comments or anything like that. It's your car. I'm coming to find that um, people that leave a bad comment, they're the ones that wish they had a car like this. I have it, I'm building it. It's my car, I'm building it my way. So enjoy your build. You will reap the rewards of driving your hot rod. Till then guys, take care and uh, Enjoy life.